All the news, it seems, is about the economy, and the economy was certainly on the minds of Santa Feans, who turned out for Mayor David Koss's session on the economic situation in Santa Fe. Typically, he holds his Coffee with Koss meetings in city council chambers, where they have about 100 seats for the audience. But they heard the turnout for this session was going to be so large, they booked it into the community convention center. KSFR's Dan Garrity was there. Upwards of 200 people showed up at Sweeney Ballroom A at the Community Convention Center for this edition of Coffee with Costs. Now, as always, it was open to the entire community, but special emphasis uh, today was placed on inviting members of the business community. And um, it's, it's a give and take. The mayor answers questions when he's asked something specific. But it's also people venting about what they perceive as the deficit to the business climate. So the snapshot that emerges this morning, uh, while not a city in distress, uh, or rather a city on the brink of disaster, it is a citizenry and a business community greatly distressed by the economic downturn. Dan, one of the people attending that Coffee with Costs economic session is Jackie Hall of the O'Keefe Museum. I asked her what brought her there. The George O'Keefe Museum relies to a great degree on the tourism industry in Santa Fe. And I wanted to come down and learn about what the city is doing to bring more people here. Um, certainly, like everybody else, we're seeing a decrease in, um, a slight decrease in attendance. And I'm worried about what the summer will bring, which is our, our biggest season. Now, you're dependent on tourism, or do you have other sources of revenue? Oh, we certainly have other sources of revenue, but um, a great number of the people who visit the museum come from outside of Santa Fe. And what has your attendance been like so far? Do you, do you have a great number in the winter? Um, we, we track our attendance pretty carefully uh, month by month. Our January was pretty even with 2008. We did see, see a slight drop-off in um, our attendance figures October through December of 2008. What are you learning from the conference this morning? Well, I'm learning that there are a lot of people who are concerned about the promotional activities that the convention center is involved with. Uh, they want, uh, it seems to me, more information about the markets that are being targeted, not only, um, you know, for tourism as far as individuals coming into the city, but also conventions and, con- and, and conventioneers. Those are the questions being raised. Are you getting answers? Well, Keith Toller, who heads the Convention and Visitors Bureau, popped in for a bit and did tell us about some of the markets they're looking at. Um, And right now they're doing a refocus on drive markets, uh, those within a 500-mile radius of Santa Fe, uh, because of, I guess, the lack of seating that people um, are finding with the airline industry right now. So they are focusing on a drive market. And so that was really interesting to learn. What ideas are you taking away for use at the O'Keefe Museum? Well, the notes that I took were mostly regarding um, uh, where the city is focusing its marketing efforts and seeing if the museum can sort of um, uh, partner uh, with them in some way in those areas uh, just so that we can help uh, bring business and and tourism to, to Santa Fe. Jackie Hall at the O'Keefe Museum at that meeting with Mayor David Koss, economic situation in Santa Fe. City Councilor Miguel Chavez was also there, asked him what he was hearing. Well, I think it's, it's, I think it's, it's a, a range of, of issues and concerns. Um, we have uh, questions about the uh, effectiveness, of you, if you will, of the mark, uh, marketing and, and advertising campaign for this new convention center. Uh, specific to, uh, as an example, are we doing enough to target uh, medical groups that might want to come I- into the city for, for a, a conference or convention? Uh, we heard from somebody uh, who's related to the College of Santa Fe and, uh, and uh, you know, concerned about the impact uh, of, of that, that, that institution closing their doors and, and the economic impact that that would have. And, you know, the displacement of, of people, by, you know, because they would lose their jobs and, and things like that. Uh, we've heard from a, a couple of uh, builders and, and realtors who are obviously feeling the stress of, of this downturn in, in the economy. So it's, it's, it's the, the, the wide range of, of issues and concerns that people have now during this, this downturn in the economy. 
What kind of answers are being generated to these concerns? Well, um, the the one response, um, uh, well, the couple of responses. Uh, one uh, regarding the the um, effort to to target uh, larger groups versus individual uh, tourists. Um, it, it it seems that we do have a, a campaign that is trying to target those groups. Uh, you know, associations. Uh, uh, that would bring larger groups uh, in, into the into the city. So, so that that's uh, that was a response in that area um, to shore up the local economy. Uh, we are talking a lot about uh, a buy local program, uh, shop local. You know, keep, keep keep our money in the local economy, and and we've done a lot in those areas. City Councilor Miguel Chavez among the several hundred attending that coffee with Mayor David Koss on the state of Santa Fe's economy.